Hello, I'm Susan Wilder. I am reading for Quality of Life for the world of Dinah. <sighs> when is this happening? Two weeks from Sunday. Oh gosh. So soon. Oh, Neil. No, it's all right, cousin. I'm more than ready. Jeanette, listen, I want you to know that at any time you want to call me up, middle of the night, I don't care, even if you just need someone to listen to you sob your heart out, I'll be there. Do you promise you'll call me? Sure. We're family. Friends will make time for you but only up to a certain point. Everyone rallied around Bill and me when Cindy was killed. But once the memorial service was over, they all wanted to get back to their, their real lives, and I can't blame them. But the fact is we're childless now and out of the club. Nobody's really snubbing us, but Thanksgiving, I'm sure some family will have us in. They'll sit us next to the old folks who have been sprung from the day, from the convalescent home. But even the old coots will be better off than us because they'll have their children there and their grandchildren. And we'll be sitting there listening to Cindy's old friends, talking about their new jobs, my wonderful fiancés. But no one will talk about our girl, except maybe to mention her at Grace. Let us all remember Cindy and keep her in our hearts. And I'll thank them all for remembering her. And Bill will take my hand and say something grateful as well, even though what we'd really like to do is stand up and push the table over on the whole damn bunch of them and send the cranberry and the gravy flying. Maybe it's time for some new friends. Well, that's why we joined this church. <laughs> they opened up their arms to us and said, come on in. Bill is happy as can be, but frankly, I can't stand the minister. <sighs> he keeps talking about God's wisdom and how wonderful God was to sacrifice his only son to save us from our sins? What kind of father would abandon his beautiful, peace-loving boy to be tortured and humiliated by sadistic Romans and let him die in such a horrible, horrible way? Oh, and then what he did to Abraham? Telling that poor man to slit his child's throat to show his devotion. And then, oops, just kidding. I'm sorry, but that's the most twisted, hateful thing I've ever heard of. I love the sun. I do. I love the sun, but I hate the father. I know. I'm not supposed to say that. I know I'm supposed to love both of them. But I just can't go there right now. Am I high? I got a call today from my cousin Jeanette. Uh -huh. I finally sent her a note about Cindy and she's so sorry and sends us all her love. Uh -huh. We had a long, long talk. She and her husband are going through their own tragedy right now. You know that big fire out in California a few months ago? No, I don't remember. Yes, you do. Remember I had said to you, oh, I wonder if Jeanette and Neil are affected. 
No. Honey, we had a fight about it. You started going on about how people shouldn't live next to uncleared brush, and then you started going on about earthquakes and how what fools people in San Francisco were to live on landfill. And then I got mad at you and said you were being a crank, and you said stop being a bleeding heart, and then I didn't talk to you for the rest of the evening? You don't remember that? No. Anyway, their house burned down. It's gone. All gone. Burned down to the chimney. It doesn't compare. They can rebuild. Don't compare it with what we're going through. I'm not comparing Bill. My heart goes out to them, that's all. And if you would let me finish, it gets worse. Neil has cancer. Starting in the prostate, and then it's gone to the rest of his body. It doesn't look good for him. Still doesn't compare. You don't have to compare. It's not a contest, for sweet sake. I was just asking you to listen to the story. Just let me talk. Allow me to tell you about a conversation that I had. Well, go on. We talked about going out there for a visit. What on earth for? Their family. Jeanette and I talked about how crazy it was that all these years we never made the effort to see each other. It, that it shouldn't be just at funerals that we get together. And just because our parents are gone doesn't mean we shouldn't stay in touch. We talked about the fact that she never knew Cindy as the beautiful young woman that she was. I'd like to see them. I can't take off work. Well, we could go on a Friday, come back on a Sunday. Why don't you just go on your own? Because I don't want to travel alone. Not yet, I just can't. Please, would you do this for me? If we go, we're not going to stay with them. Well, of course not. They don't even have a house. Apparently they're living in a yurt. A what? A yurt. It's a kind of Mongolian tent thing. Oh, for gosh sakes. <sighs> Please, Bill. I, th I think it'd be good for us. I I think it'd be good to get away. Let me think about it. I think I'll go more the lawn. 